Hello, welcome to my channel. As you can see, it's raining. Uh, so I've taken the GoPro Hero 8 out for a little trial in the soaking wet rain. Uh, I've got a little cloth in my hand to keep your eyes clean. And uh, yeah, I've been tinkering about with the GoPro Hero 8 again. And uh, right now I'm using it um, just uh, in the aluminium case with a little wind muff on the forward facing microphone and the other microphones covered up. So I'm not using the wind slayer. This is a modification so that I don't have to keep putting the wind slayer over the top. If I was using the wind slayer today, it would be getting soaking wet, absorbing all the water. So it's not always ideal. So right now this, this little uh, setup might be a bit better. I've been getting a lot of great comments and thank you for the comments on my vlog and all my vlogs regarding the GoPro Hero 8. And there's quite a few of us trying to uh, perfect something while we wait for the media module, of course. And, uh, and this is what I've come up with. I am just about done with the audio adapter. I'll just let you know, I connected it uh, just last night just to do a little test. And um, I did a recording with the Rode Video Micro above connected to the audio adapter and of course into the GoPro Hero 8 and it failed. And that's because of that connection carry on. There's just too many connections and the connection into the side of the, the GoPro failed. It probably just wasn't located properly, but it's always gonna get knocked. And I'm done with that because that could be quite a lot of takes recording and either getting no audio or just using the onboard audio. And if you go to the trouble of putting an external microphone on there, you're not gonna be happy with the onboard audio. And that's what we're, we're using right now. It's the uh, internal microphone and uh, it's absolutely hammering it down with rain. And that's why I need this camera. That's why I've chosen the Hero 8 uh, because it's got better, quite good actually, quite good internal microphone with the forward facing microphone. So we can record like this and the camera is absolutely waterproof because I've put the side door back on. So we're absolutely sealed right now. So that's great. I won't be able to use the media module like this. The media module, I can't see that being waterproof in any way. Uh, might be a shower proof, splash proof. Yeah, splash proof, I'm expecting that. But I wouldn't use it like this. But I would just take it off and uh, use the internal microphones like this. So then I've got a compact system and uh, in fair weather, I can use the uh, superior microphone, assuming that it is gonna be superior. It does say it's a shotgun microphone and that's gonna be great because it'll, uh, focus on my voice and what's directly in front of it and cancel out all the other stuff. Sometimes actually I am in environments where I need to cancel out surrounding uh, noise such as uh, waterfalls, um, just by water really, yes. Uh, so I do appreciate a shotgun microphone and I'm hoping that the media module is going to supply me with that. So I'm just having a little local walk in the hammering down rain, but I actually don't mind getting out in the rain. It rains that much here in West Yorkshire. If you were to stay in, if you stayed in because it was raining, you'd be staying in a lot, especially in the winter time. So I don't mind getting uh, wrapped up and coming for a walk, getting some exercise. So it's very important for me to make this Hero 8 work for me. I don't have to be concerned now about anything going wrong. The Hero 8 is getting soaking wet and I've done vlogs with the audio adapter. I had two audio adapters and recently I did a vlog in the pouring down rain and that audio adapter took on water. You wouldn't think so, it's such a rubberized uh, thing. You wouldn't think it'd take on that much water, but it did. So that audio adapter has been thrown away, it's no good. I did dry it out in some rice, but it didn't recover. So I don't want to destroy my other one and uh, the GoPro Hero 8 came along just at the right time. I did purchase the GoPro Fusion uh, tripod, uh, extending tripod, and that's what I'm using now, and I've got it fully extended. The problem being that the microphone is further away from me now, which is, of course, the internal microphone of the GoPro Hero 8. So that's one of the drawbacks. But if it was fair weather, I would have the Rode Wireless Go on me here, and I would be using that. But I'm not too sure about how waterproof that microphone is. So I'd rather just shout. So uh, I, can, I can shout, I can do that. And that's, uh, that's a really important thing about uh, 
about vlogging and testing microphones, you do have to realize that you do have to project your voice towards the, uh, the, the mic, of course. And when the microphone's further away, you must be aware that it is further away and you're gonna have to project your voice a little bit more and make sure you're looking directly at the microphone. That was a little bit of a test. Maybe you'll get a little bit more of a, an idea of my surroundings as well. So this is the uh, GoPro Fusion. I think it's called the Fusion, yes. The F GoPro Fusion um, tripod, selfie stick, or whatever you want to call it. And because I'm on the GoPro Plus, um, because I subscribed to that, I got it at half price. So let's just uh, take this back down. There you are, you're a little bit closer. And talking about being closer, with the wide lens, and this is linear by the way, I am recording linear and generally I always do. Um, I can bring you a little bit closer, it's still quite wide, and you'll be, you're very close, about a foot, my mouth's about a foot away from the, from the microphone. So, I'm sure the audio is better. That's, that's where you normally are. I know that's a, a, a better distance. Uh, I'm not in your comfort zone. <laughs> but uh, if you did need to just, and it was really bad weather, uh, I would bring you about this close. And I'm just, and I'm practicing this for myself and hopefully letting others know how you can use the GoPro Hero 8 and uh, maximize the, the, the audio, the onboard audio. It's great to have this little compact, this compact setup and not have to worry about external microphones. I will still use my external microphones in certain situations, they are fantastic, but to have all the options, that's what I want. And if nothing else, I know it's an expensive price to pay to get an audio jack, but uh, if nothing else, the media module is going to give us an audio jack, a, uh, a jack that we can just plug our external microphones into. The audio adapter, that cable going in there is just an accident waiting to happen. It's going to happen to you. You're going to get a dropouts. You're going to you're going to be recording and get nothing. You're going to get crackly audio. It's just not going to last. It's such. It makes a rugged camera like this into a very delicate camera. That's 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 pretty much where I'm at. So you pay out for a rugged camera, and then you put the audio adapter on with that stupid cable going in there, just sitting there, waiting to just disconnect just when you don't want it to, like you ever want it to. But but uh, it makes that camera then into a delicate camera, into something that is far from rugged. So that's where I'm at with it. I want the rugged, I want straight out of my pocket. When I'm not talking to you now, I just put this straight in my pocket, just like that. Straight in my pocket. Sorry for putting you in my pocket there. Nice and warm, you were dry in there. Um, yeah, I put you straight in my pocket. And uh, when I'm pulling the GoPro in and out with the audio adapter on, you can imagine, I have to check it every time and uh, I'm done with that. So the media module is at least gonna give us a, a microphone jack and that will be a safe connection. Uh, so so uh, I'm looking forward to that. I just cannot be doing with that audio adapter anymore. I might just give it away on my channel. <laughs> now, which way am I going? I think I was going that way. So I found a shady spot here under this tree. It's still absolutely pouring it down out there. Uh, the GoPros are obviously no good in low light and it is quite dark here. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a low light test. Um, been getting some comments on uh, the picture quality of the GoPro Hero 8. We're recording in 1080, 24 frames per second right now. And yes, I can see the, uh, somebody said that at one point of, of a vlog that I did with the Hero 8, um, I look like a cartoon. It kind of like started having to fake fill in color and stuff like that. I have actually seen that. I don't know whether that's what they call artifacts. I'm not an expert by any means, but I think that's what uh, what they sort of mean. It starts to, to sort of fake the color. And I've seen that happening. And uh, the, way, the way I get my head straight on this is, this is a camera that operates automatically. There's nobody stood behind it, obviously. A human being that can adjust the uh, exposure and everything else, the frame rates, um, so, uh, so that it always looks perfect. It's a computer, obviously, running this. So um, it's not gonna do a great job. It's gonna get it wrong sometimes. But for the most part, I think it does a pretty good job for something that I'm just holding out in front of me and uh, expecting, it, expecting it to be perfect. It's not going to be. That's the compromise. I can't bring someone round with me all the time uh, filming me. I have asked people to do that and they're not too keen to do it. 
yeah, I can see why, because it's absolutely hammering it down with rain. And I'm also not in the most glamorous uh, locations either. So for a camera that works on auto all the time, um, with no human input round the back as it looks at me, I've, I've got a clue what I look like now. Some old guy walking around in the rain. Yeah, pretty accurate. But uh, I don't know what the exposure's like. I'm turning and getting different exposures. I don't know what it's going to be like. and I just have to rely on it and I get what I get. And I think you've got to take the rough with the smooth with these things and really get this in perspective of what this tiny little camera is actually achieving and what we expect from it. So uh, that's where I'm keeping my head straight on this. Now, it might sound like I'm a massive fan of GoPro listening to me uh, banging on about the GoPro Hero 8. I'm definitely not a fan of GoPro. Uh, they've had a lot of my money and uh, I've had nothing but problems with it. But I, so far, as I said in my last vlog, so far so good for me with the GoPro Hero 8. And I suppose I could be playing devil's advocate here because uh, a, few, a few of you, quite a few of you are having problems with it already. But just in the, uh, in the interest of, of the conversation and, uh, and keeping everybody in the know, and that's what YouTube is absolutely fantastic for. So we need to keep talking about this. And uh, from what I've been told from you guys, it's only a matter of time before mine messes up. It might be messing up right now as I speak. And that's why I'm out again in the woods. I was in the woods. I was in the woods down there. Beautiful, it's a beautiful wet morning. And uh, yeah, we must keep talking about this and uh, it's, it, it's, a, it's a trending topic. So if you've got your GoPro Hero 8 on the way, let us know your feelings. If you've received yours, let us know how you're going on with yours. What do you think of it? Are you disappointed? What are you expecting from the media module? Again, we're recording on the internal microphones. So let me just uh, show you what I'm talking about here. We've got the GoPro Hero 8 in a aluminium case with two cold shoes, uh, handy, that really handy. And um, I've blocked off the microphones all except for the forward facing one. Uh, so you can see that in these pictures. It really is a wonderful time of year in the autumn with the colours. Look at the colours behind me. And I want to be able to bring you all the seasons. We've got the bleak winter from West Yorkshire on the way and it does get bleak here, but I want to be able to bring you, show you all my walks in the winter, in the rain, in the spring and in the summer, and then right back round here to autumn. The colours are amazing. Let's just put my uh, new stick on full extension. So that's the GoPro Fusion stick, the GoPro Fusion tripod, whatever they want to call it. That's on full extension and you can see the views behind me. So that's why I got this. It's quite good, nice and rubberized, but it's quite expensive. So uh, yeah, you have to really want it. So yes, I want to, I want to bring you um, all the seasons, as I say, and that's why it's very important for me to have a ruggedized camera like this that is completely waterproof. I'm not having to worry about <laughs> I'm not having to worry, I'm worrying about falling. I don't have to worry about this camera getting soaking wet. This camera will go underwater, scuba diving, so no problem this little, uh, little bit of a downpour that we're having here in West Yorkshire. So I hope you're enjoying the walk so far and I am enjoying your company or I would be all by myself. Now, I found a sheltered spot here and I just wanted to talk to you about my, uh, my wild camping and my uh, coast to coast. I haven't forgotten about that and I'm, I'm, I do keep mentioning it that I am actually training, keeping the walking up, keeping the fitness up and I'm getting to a pretty decent level, but I need to get better and better because I need to be averaging 15 miles a day when I'm doing the coast to coast. Yes, I'm still uh, researching that and that is my uh, real main focus uh, of my channel. It's my next project and that's happening next year, next September. And today I went to uh, looking around some uh, places for a, a solo tent, a one-man tent, a really lightweight one. And uh, I saw a few and I'm going to compare the prices online, but I think I'm looking at uh, 
just short of 400 quid. Uh, for these really uh, high-end uh, lightweight ones. They seem to be yeah, somewhere in the region of 350 to 400 pound. So I am going to be, um I'm going to be talking to you about that as we get into next year. But so far, I'm just enjoying keeping up the uh, keeping up the fitness levels and uh, and just researching little bits of it. So maybe you'll be interested in that. So if you do have any advice for me on the coast to coast, if you've done it yourself or you've done some extensive walking, some similar things to that, I do need all the advice. And it isn't something that I've forgotten about. It is actually my focus. So uh, it's just that the new cameras come along, the gadgets come along, and this little camera has to go in my backpack with the tent, so it has to be tiny. And that's why I'm bagging on about it, really. And uh, to help other people that uh, receive this camera. Uh, so uh, yes, the wild camping, I've got to get a few more of them under my belt before I go. I'm gonna do it half wild camping and half bed and breakfast. Uh, there's a few pubs along the way and some uh, hostels. So yes, I uh, haven't forgotten about that. So yes, bear with me on the uh, on the wild camping and the uh, coast to coast. It is early days right now, but I do appreciate all your advice. Just uh, one more piece of the jigsaw to put together regarding the GoPro Hero 8. And it's all for the same end gain. I need a tiny camera to take with me. So uh, yeah, just the one, one piece of the jigsaw and that's the uh, media module. And when we get that, it's either gonna be rubbish and I'll just continue to use the 8 like this, or I'll be using that and it'll be fantastic. Now, just one more point before I go. What's the deal with the GoPro batteries? I've heard that uh, unless you get the GoPro 8 battery, which is the one with a little bit of blue on it, um, some of the functions won't work. I've got loads of the uh, batteries for the GoPro 7. And in fact, the first part of this vlog was done with one of them batteries. And so far I haven't seen any difference. So that's gonna be a bit of a downer if I've got to buy more batteries and they've got to be the Hero 8 style batteries. So uh, I can't see any difference in power. So anyone that knows a lot about batteries and uh, specifically the GoPro Hero 8 and the difference between the seven and the eight, um, let me know, let me know what's the deal. Should I invest in them batteries or are my GoPro Hero 7 batteries gonna be fine? Because I think I've got about, I might have 15 of them. Uh, it's quite a lot of money in batteries. So like I say, that is it for today. Another vlog completed using the internal microphones of the GoPro Hero 8 with a little wind muff on. And I'll show you a few more little pictures of it now. But uh, that is it for this vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. I put a vlog up every week, so consider subscribing. I'm approaching 400 subscribers. Can't believe it. Uh, so yeah, consider subscribing. And until the next one, bye.